Hi, this is Jan Behrens and I like to present Linda Ventools, a mobile application for iOS and Android. Ventools is a toolbox with helpful features for all phases of the building process for a ventilation system. I will show in the coming minutes the different functions starting with the settings here on the top right corner. In settings you can select and change the relevant factors for your specific project like heat capacity and density and you can choose your preferred units for airflow in cubic per hour or liters per second. Starting with the duct calculator. This function calculates the flow, velocity or diameter of a ventilation duct. First you have to select the shape of the duct circular or rectangular and second the attribute you like to calculate airflow, air velocity or diameter respectively size for the rectangular shapes. You can change the required values using the slider, the tabs left or right or the text field directly. When you for example like to know the pressure drop for a round duct select circular shape and the attribute airflow. Select the duct size 160 and the velocity 5 meters per second. You can find the result in the box on top. If you like to get the size of a rectangular duct, select rectangular and size. Give the velocity and airflow, for example 5000 cubic per hour and 5 meters per second. Now you can select one side of the duct. For example, if you have a maximum height given by the height in the suspended ceiling of 300 millimeters, you will find the side B value in the result field with here a minimum of 926 millimeters. Or you select a ratio between side A and B of sample wise 3, suggests a rectangular duct size of 913 by 304. The tool calculates as well the hydraulic diameter which respect which represents a circular duct with same pressure drop like the calculated rectangular duct and the equivalent diameter which is a circular duct with same free area. Pressure drop per meter duct and the free area you can find here as well. Coming to offset bands. Working on building sites you have to create offsets with your round ducts and fittings a lot of times. Offset bands and offset T pieces are tools which are equipped with the real dimensions of Lindap fittings and help you to calculate easy and fast the required duct lengths for a specific offset. Let's say you want to build a centerline offset for a 160mm duct of 250mm to cross another duct. Try to use 90 degrees bends. The result shows that this will create at least a center line distance of 417 millimeters, which is too long. Changing to 60 degrees bends works fine. The duct length you need is 104 millimeters. Offset T pieces works with the same idea as offset bands. I will explain again on a sample. Using a 200 millimeter main duct, branch off with a duct 160 millimeters, to cross a parallel to the main duct. I want to have a center line offset of minimum 230 millimeters. Using a 60 degrees band will create a center line distance of 272 millimeters when using a Muffe MF, a female connector. Using instead 45 degrees bands will work fine with a duct in between the T and the band of 134 millimeters. The length E is calculated with 296. So you see, you can already on your mobile phone decide how you build your offsets. Coming to the next feature. Later on, when you are on building side, you need to insulate your ventilation system. Herefore, you need the length of the insulation. Um, and this tool, length of insulation, helps you to find the correct length cutting the insulation material from the roll and the amount of material in square meters. Select the duct size in material thickness to calculate the required length. When selecting the length you will receive the usage in square meters 
or leave the length to 1 meter, then you receive the square meters per meter stacked. Rectangular works in the same way. Type in A and B for the ducts and thickness S for insulation to get the length and use. Roof angle. Crossing an angled roof needs a roof transition with a tile performed in the correct inclination. The angle is a necessary part of the order code. This tool will help to calculate the angle based on some measures you can easily measure with your folding rule on site. If you measure, for example, 1 meter vertical and 1.5 meters horizontal, your roof angle is 34 degrees. Air capacity. With a given value for cooling or heating load, or an estimated load like for an office with 15 square meters, with a load of 60 watt per square meters, which needs so far roughly 900 watt cooling power, you can calculate the required airflow for a specific temperature difference. This can be fastly calculated with this app. Using airflow, type in the capacity of 900 and the difference, uh, temperature difference of 8 Kelvin. The required airflow is 335 cubics. If you like to cover the need with only 300 cubics per hour, select temperature difference, type in the 300 and you will get the required delta T for the given airflows with nearly 9 Kelvin. Coming to the last and used feature in the toolbox, the K-value search and calculation. Many diffusers and supply air beams have a fixed K-value to calculate the airflow based on a measured pressure drop at the device. In the first part of the tool, the K-value part, you can search for these values by several filters and settings. For example, search for a ceiling diffuser, type PS8, and a duct connection 200. The K value you can see on top is 25.4. When you select a supply air beam, type Plexus, the K value is related to the jet cone settings. This is represented by the setting gap using or for all four jet cone adjustments to a value 5 the gap value is also 5. But if you use 2 times 6 and 2 times 8, gives an average value of 7. Use gap 7 to receive the right K value. Select airflow to select the airflow with the selected K value and the measured pressure. Type in the pressure and find the current airflow in the result field. You should use this feature as well if you use devices with adjustable Cal values like iris dampers or MBB boxes. Type in the new K value and the pressure and read out the flow. Select pressure if you like to calculate the pressure you have to measure when you want to supply or extract a specific airflow. Type in the airflow and K value the pressure will be displayed. So, now you have a little overview. I hope you like this toolbox, which will be available in your local language, of course. And do not hesitate to contact me for your feedback. You can reach me under jan.behrens at lindap.com. Thank you very much for watching this video.